What's up, dirty cones? Arr. Cody and me driving. It's Friday. I'm gonna go see the Medhold trainees, Medhold Airmen. Um, just when you thought there was nobody lower than a cone, you go to Medhold <laughs> and you see. Oh, that's not that bad. Cause I'm only in Medhold. I'm still in the United States Air Force. They didn't send me to be in the Army. Well, maybe you're not so grateful right now in the summer because uh, it's 103. It's supposed to be 113 today. It's going to be uh, warm. That will not be enjoyable for uh, maybe somebody in the push-up position. It's not so bad for somebody with a hose. You just kind of you feel all right. But uh, <laughs> suffering is good. In dock is good. New battlefield and airman stuff is good. Um, everybody's having fun. That's not why we're here. Man, you guys have to check out uh, Revisionist History. We're in season two. Episode two is uh, on the road to Damascus. I just ask that you listen to it. Uh, do as Malcolm says. Don't make any judgments. Just listen to the story and then be like, wow, amazing. And, and then Jocko this week. Uh, with the uh, Miyamoto Musashi uh, Book of Five Rings. Awesome, awesome book. Another good book you want to check out, the, uh, the Sermon of the Demon. It's uh, the demon's take on warfare um, or battle or how to be. This is kind of a art of war, but eh, same thing. Uh, very good book, but Jocko was on point. I like them uh, this week for, I used Jocko to talk to my kids, because nobody listens, they're like, ah, what do you know, old man, um, and, but that's right, because nobody listens to their dad, and, uh, but so I used Jocko to go, oh, look, Jocko says, you know, it's not just me, it's not, you know, like, um, somebody knows, doesn't know what they're talking about, it's Jocko willing, so, Chakra's always on fire, but I really enjoyed uh, his points this week were really uh, what I think my kids needed to hear about, like, dedication, commitment, um, discipline, um, huge friend, uh, huge friend, huge fan of, um, Bobby McGee by, um, or written by Chris Christopherson, but, uh, San Antonio, don't. <laughs> there's, there's too many people here already. It's getting bad. Uh, we need a good old-fashioned zombie apocalypse. Nah, not, maybe not that bad. But, um, yeah, so... Chaco... He did such a good job. Like, I find him uh, very well-balanced. You know, he's, he's passionate, very articulate. Articulate. See, I'm not even, I'm articulate. Um, and he was talking about, you know, he's like, oh, you know, his instructor, I didn't, I didn't know anything. Well, I mean, he didn't, not that he didn't know anything, but you know that his, um, what's the word I'm looking for? His, oh, this is great. I'm working. Um, couldn't have written the book when he was younger, yeah, but you know, he could write his book now. So prior to 99, 
so not every problem is a nail requiring a hammer. Some people are screws and just got you know. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So Chuckers coming to Austin. Hopefully, he's still gonna have some time to go surfing. It sounds like a pretty good weekend. I think he's only got like three or four seats left. So, where's Jocko? But Malcolm Gladwell, listen to the road to Damascus, and and if and if that hooks you, listen to the whole first season. I mean, you can look. There's stuff on Vietnam. There's stuff. I mean, there's he covers a wide array of uh, topics. And then check out Radio Lab from Radio Lab. Oh man. Bad episode, uh, the nukes episode we talked about last week uh, or two. There's just there's a lot of knowledge, a lot of history, a lot of wisdom out there, just waiting. To, you know, it's percolating. You just gotta grab it. Uh, so if you got a choice of listening to music. You know, mm, get used to not listening to music. Use it wisely. Listen to Jocko. Listen to Malcolm. Um, make your life better, because, you know, although there are some days where, you, you know, you just need a little music, because you're like, oh, when I got the music, I got a place to go, uh, which Rancid is touring with, um, the Dropkick Murphys, uh, for the summer, um, I don't think they're coming to Texas, but maybe they're going somewhere near you. So check them out. Well worth, well worth whatever it costs. Um, my kids' first concert was Red, White, and Boom when we were in Vegas, and uh, headlining was <clears throat> well. So opening up for well, there was a bunch of bands, like ten bands, but the two bands that we were there for was Flog and Molly, which was awesome, and uh, Social D, Social Distortion. So I had a good time. Um, Rancid. Uh, saw them a couple years ago. They were supporting 20 years of Rancid, which is pretty good. Um, Interrupters, Tim Time Wall, and everybody. It was, it was a good time. So I twice saw them in Vegas, and then I saw them in Austin. So uh, check them out. Good bands. Check out Jocko. Uh, if you need a, a, a lighter note, that's a, that's a deep one. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, Sherman Alexi, check out, uh, he's a writer from uh, Washington, amazing uh, native writer, wrote uh, Tonto and the Lone Ranger, Fist Fight in Heaven. Uh, it's what the movie Smoke Signals is uh, based off of, and I liked it. Good, good thinking in the movie. So uh, that's it. Keep it under 10 minutes so we're not too, you know, do um, questions and answers next time, I promise. I just guess it's still long enough. Um, life is good. Train hard. Stay out of trouble. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah.